last time we yeah. sat together, we were in the panel. Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago, and a lot has happened. Life a lot's has happened been, to me. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. Like, you look incredible, though. And Thank uh, you. I've lost 45 pounds on the cancer diet. On the can- Maybe I should try that. <laughs> Oh, sure. Or go to jail. Those are the two options I have at this moment. It's uh, heredit- It's not hereditary. <laughs> what am I saying? It's infectious, but we it can only be ca- my kind can only be caught through oral sex. So uh. if you really want that diet, you know. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. <laughs> I thought no, really. When they first because I had I had oral cancer, but when they the fir- the guy first looked at me, his uh, you know the uh, young resident that was working with the main doctor. Looks and said, uh, "Hmm, looks like papilloma." <laughs> and the doc, he goes, "What do you think, doc?" And the doctor looks and goes, "Yeah, it looks like papilloma." I said, "Papilloma, papilloma, papilloma." I said, "Like human papilloma, HPV, like venereal warts." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he went, "Yeah." And I said, "Let me ask you something, doc. Could I get that kind of cancer from uh, like performing oral sex?" And he went, "Oh, absolutely." <laughs> And for a minute, I was like, "Ooh, I'm bad! I am so man, That's I'm right, badass!" Guys, take notes. Yeah. Take notes, Doc. I've done it so much; it's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, Wendy's got the. But life. then it turned out to be a different kind, yeah. which really was trying to kill me. <laughs> man. <laughs> man, it's getting wild. I thought somebody there. yanked the fucking the, the fire, fire thing. thing. Um, but I've really appreciated because uh, I follow you on social media. I really appreciate that you really share your story and your whole journey. You've got a whole bunch of fans. Yeah, well, it was important. Watching. It was important to my fans, I think. Well, they wanted like, to know. What the fuck happened to John? Where is he? What is he yeah. doing? Oh, yeah, because I was, you know, uh, I, this is my first con in a year and a half. Wow. So, oh, we are honored. I yeah. Hear that. Yeah, so I, I had to go off the road for a while, and I had to cancel a few appearances, which I'm, and I'm trying to make up for it now, yeah, you know. absolutely. But you have a pretty sweet life I feel you know you guys where do you live South Carolina is that where you are now I live in Tennessee Tennessee up, up on a ridge in Tennessee yeah and it just looks you know the, it just looks lush and green and just peaceful and it's very much so yeah of course my next door neighbor you know oh. which is like way down there I live on a rock road too you know yeah uh, flies a uh, Confederate flag on a 30-foot flag oh. in front of his trailer. But, uh, wow. So there's that. So there, that really is a thing down yeah. there. Well, shit, they'd freak if they saw you, man. I ain't going. They I've take, never left Canada. I'm scared. I thought Angela Davis was older than that. <laughs> no. Black don't crack. Black don't crack. So what are you going to be up to after this, then? Well, see, I have a film coming out July 23rd, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh, man. Written by uh, Victor Brooke Miller, uh, who wrote the original Friday the 13th. Wow. And uh, his partner on that's... Uh, uh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> that uh, that does the things. <laughs> Carrie Fleming. Mm. I, I couldn't remember his first name for some reason. Kerry Fleming, who uh, who wrote and, and, and produced the film, uh, and directed by Tom Holland from uh, Child's Play and Fright Night and all that stuff. So it's being released on, not in theaters, but on every other format you could imagine on July 23rd. And I play Uncle Charles, who's a really fucking creepy, sick fuck. <laughs> Like that's perfect for you. Oh my god, I had so much fun, Taylor. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my first day, of course, they do my the hardest. Uh, this always happens. Your first day there, they do your hardest scenes mm. right then. It's, you know, get it out get, of the yeah, way. Get, get him in co- get him costume and makeup. We're doing all of his hardest scenes right now. Oh, oh, fucking six o'clock in the morning or some shit, huh? I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Oh my god. But it, oh, it never fails to. Happened, you know, so yeah. we got to the first setup, <laughs> and uh, and I was just nervous as fuck. Really? And we got to, yeah, because Tom Holland, and it was a Hollywood film, there was a lot, you know, serious money behind it, not yeah. not big Hollywood money, but big to me, who was used to doing no budget, low budget, you know, yeah. straight to video stuff, and uh, 
Mm, so they're, they're switching the camera angle and the lights and all that. And Tom goes, hey, John, come here. And we talk a little bit. First he says, where have you been for the last 40 years, man? So I knew I was doing something right, you know. And he goes, let me ask you something. I said, okay. I said, here it comes, you know. And he goes, are you afraid of overacting this? And I said, yeah. Mm. I said, you know, the danger of that with this role, you know, I was trying to come in, you know, a little subtle, I'll leave a little something to the imagination. He goes, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. He said, you're a psychopath. <laughs> in, no, he said, you're, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, he said, you're a psychopath. Well, like, fuck, how, do you, how like would it. you know I'm a fucking psychopath, you fucking fuck? But, be like, that's the energy. I swear a lot, so sorry. No, uh, sorry. But he said, you're playing a psychopath in the memory of a psychopath. Mm. You cannot overact this role. So he just let me go. That's wow, beautiful. it was so much fun. That's yeah. July twenty third coming out. Coming out July twenty third. That's amazing. So so we just wrapped on a film called The Hart Brothers, which is about the original uh, North American, or at least uh, you know what is now the United States serial killers, two brothers. Oh. Uh, and I have a small role in that, and that should be coming out probably in the fall. They're still staying on really video. Busy out there. So. Yeah, but that was my first gig after I got sick. I had a day on that, a long day, as filming is, you know. Um, Deviant Behavior, which just got a distribution deal, should be coming out any day. Any day now. Yeah, and that's another serial color thing, and I play a fucking oh, burnout uh, homicide detective. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that would be yeah. really neat. I could see you playing. Two partners up with an old partner. His is a totally fried fucking private investigator <laughs> <laughs> who got fired for being kind of hinky on the job, and they team up for one last fucking thing, you know. That's great. And uh, I know I'm forgetting something, but I'm old, okay? I'm, I'm, like, really old. Moral of the story is you're still really busy. There's a lot of things yeah. going on. Oh, yeah. You've got to take time to just chill Ain't, ain't dead yet. I'm afraid to take too much time and chill. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I feel like Wendy probably keeps you on your toes, though. She uh, no, spicy. Stacy. Oh, Stacy. Stacy, the wife? Yes. My wife? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Wendy. Why Stacy. Why did I call her Wendy? There's no other woman, Stacy. No, so. yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was Wendy. <laughs> uh, well, I'm really happy we got to catch up okay. and do this. Oh, well, how about and, uh, you? I have a little folder on my computer. Like, where you, where is Taylor where's now? Where does Taylor, Taylor live now? Yeah, share that with me so I know where yeah. I am. It's right next to, uh, to a Katrina folder. What color is Katrina's hair? <laughs> For real, I think it's a normal color this year. Uh, Maybe. So I told her that. She said, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I said, I have a folder of you and your hair colors and Taylor in her newest wherever city she's living in. <laughs> oh man, you know, I didn't go too Full far. circle, you're back here now, I'm though. Back right? here, but I'm really busy, you know, and that's good. good. Lots of it's good. Very things. good. I had to refocus. Sometimes you I'm proud of you. I'm proud leave. you're my friend. I'm proud too. Thank you. Just keep going, I guess. You know, what else do you do? Oh, you can't stop. You can't stop. No. Right. So, awesome. Well, take care of yourself. I'm happy we got to talk. Yeah, well, me too. So it's nice great to see, to see you. you.